Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. And welcome to my channel. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back, everybody. Hey, you guys. I am doing the bacon fast experiment. And today is day, let me see. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Friday. Saturday, Friday. My brain's not working. Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Six days. So, how am I doing? Well, as you guys all know, it's very important when you're eating salty foods, and especially keto foods, you guys need to be drinking water. And guess what I did not do yesterday? This is a 30, this is a 20 ounce container of water. I didn't even finish half of it, you guys on one, not even half. But what I did do is I drank coffee, iced coffee, like three times in regular coffee. So I had a total of, and I was only supposed to have two cups of coffee with two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream. Well, I had two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream at breakfast with four slices of bacon and my scoop of collagen yesterday. I had five slices of bacon and two teaspoons of uh, heavy whipping cream for lunch. For dinner, I had five more slices of bacon and two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream. And then for a snack, I had my um, heavy whipping cream, two teaspoons full, and a scoop of dietary um, unflavored collagen yesterday. So today, I'll share everybody what I was today. Harry went down again. No bang, and he lost another pound. No bang, no rain. So he's, he's rethinking it. So here is our Harry. Went down to 183.8. He lost a pound. I went up a pound. A little bit less than a pound because I weighed 181 on the nose, folks. I am not concerned about my weight because I think I had too much bacon for the size that these bacons were because they were really thick sliced. Because it says yesterday that I only took in um, 1,200 calories. Um, my sodium was 3,296.3, my protein was 62, and my fat was 97. So I had 78% fat and 22% from pro protein. And another thing I noticed my Fitbit is not doing. Heavy whipping cream has a little bit of carbs in it, okay? But because I'm only taking two teaspoons at a time, it's not counting it. So I do have a couple carbs in there. If you figure a tablespoon is one carb or a little less than one. Remember, they always round down on the nutrition scale rather than round up. So I'm thinking I had a couple carbs with that, which is no big deal because that's way under 10. But I, I know for sure I woke up in the middle of the night parched, parched three times. I was so thirsty and I always have a glass of water. So I drank water last night because I was that thirsty. So I know the salt that I'm eating is the um, white stripped bleached um, salt that they use on the bacon. I know that it doesn't say sea salt. It doesn't say, it doesn't say um, Himalayan salt. It doesn't say any of those things. So the importance of drinking water is huge on this. Because my rings today, I can feel that they're not flying around. The, my my wedding ring is uh, two with a third um, stacker, and they usually fly around my hands. Well, they're they're staying put, and this ring usually is too loose. It used to fit on my ring finger. It used to fit really loose, and I had to shove it on there. So. I am holding water today, I can tell. So I know I'm gonna drop, and I'm not worried about it. I feel fantastic eating the bacon. I really do. 
I feel fantastic so and I'm not hungry and I don't even want to change out for an egg yet or anything else so I'm gonna stick with it you guys and I'll tell you on Friday what I'm gonna do but overall I still am down from where I was when I started and Harry is down another pound and he's rethinking bang and rain every day that he has not had a bang or a rain except for Sunday Mother's Day where he gained weight because he had that uh, McDonald's uh, two quarter pounders and every time we eat there he gets water weight and I think it's from the same thing I think it's that salt that they use but he has he is down to 183.8 again so I don't know if he wants to do one more day experiment where he's not having one and then do one we have to talk about it he took Sally today to the groomer she needs a toenail cut really bad she usually goes once a month and with her back um, having back surgery and having some discs repaired and removed. Um, she really uh, has to have those nails short so she's not down on her feet or walking different. And we're trying to walk at night. And she's getting really sore because her nails are too long. And that nail, longer nails on the dog, causes issues with their paws and the way they walk. So he's taking her this morning. And neither one of us have eaten anything but I have a iced coffee it's got my two teaspoons of cream but I'm not having one for lunch if I have an iced coffee today it's just gonna have going going forward after this I'm gonna try to have no more than oh a tablespoon and maybe a teaspoon so a table so four teaspoons a day and see if that makes a difference and I am going to have 12 slices of the bacon today because it's pretty thick you guys now yesterday we cooked our bacon um, straight out to see if there was a difference and I don't see a difference between this and folding them in half and cooking them longer I think they they both have the same amount of crispiness they still have the same delicious melt in your mouth creamy smoothness of the fat and these are cold and I like cold bacon so I'm having my cold bacon that we cooked yesterday and tomorrow I'll have to cook some hot bacon because I don't have enough for tomorrow too so we'll see how Aries Harry's doing but he's right now he's doing carnivore and someone asked me how come you guys don't eat berries and I just want to stress the fact that and I don't know if everybody knows this or not but Harry and I were vegan Vegan and vegetarian for five years after he had his heart, open heart surgery, quadruple bypass in 2013, and it did not work for us. So right now, at this point in our time with our keto journey, we are not craving vegetables and we are not craving berries. So if we were we absolutely would have either raspberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. We also uh, lived in Washington State for 20 years, and I had blueberries on the property. We would go, we would go berry picking. You got blueberries, blackberries, thimbleberries, raspberries, service berries, huckleberries salmon berries and we and wild strawberries and we would go and we would get all those berries all the time so if we wanted berries we absolutely would add them and the same with vegetables you guys but right now harry and i are trying to get down to our goal weight we're trying to get down he needs to because of his heart he had a silent heart attack two years ago after he had his quadruple bypass we found out one of the um bypasses collapsed and the bottom of his heart is not getting the blood that it should it's getting some from the tertiary uh secondary and tertiary which are the second and third um, veins that go to the heart but no artery is going to the heart that's why he gets tired easy and so it's really important that he gets down into like the 165 range for heart health reasons and i need to get down for health reasons as well. Now, my body is metabolically, metabolically, sorry, <laughs> I had to think of the word, metabolically broken because I have been on every single friggin' diet in the entire world. Every pack diet, every point, count the point diet, injection diet, pill diet, 
you name it, I've been on it. And then I had a lap band in 2005 and I was on a five to 800 calorie deficit and it took me forever to lose weight even at that. So I have had to retrain my body on keto uh, in November, uh, February to November. And then I had my lap band removed because I have had horrible issues with it. And actually my lap band was wide open for two years after I found out I had horrible ulcers and I had a mass in my stomach, which was benign, but I had terrible issues and had to have it out. And my uh, insurance at the time wanted $30,000, didn't want to pay for it. And I finally got insurance that did, so I had it removed in February. But I have retrained my body to accept 1,100 to 1,300 calories, which is huge for me, huge, huge. It's very hard for me to do any kind of fasting or intermittent fasting because my body will say, uh-uh, nope, put on the brakes. She's going into that starvation mode and I don't want her to go there. So I'm fighting with that, okay? And so that's why I'm doing this bacon fast diet. I, I am in this hard stall, ring around the rosy with 180.8. I went down 179.8 twice. Once right before my lap band surgery and I was on a pure liquid protein diet and I had to go on it afterwards. And then once again, I can't remember now what month it was, but I've been in this hard stall and that's why I'm on the bacon fast. I want to hit in the 170s and I feel good and I'm just training my body because it's getting the fat, it's getting the protein. And actually that's a pretty good ratio. You know, it's a pretty good macro. Um, it's, it's the modified protein, you know, high fat. It's not overly ridiculous. I mean, 62 grams of protein and 97% fat. And depending on what keto camp you're in, purist, dirty, lazy, different doctors have different ideas with that. But so far, I feel fantastic. My hair's not falling out. My beautician said, oh my gosh, your hair's growing in. I'm eating collagen twice a day. So that's another thing that I'm adding to this. I'm having more collagen, so my protein level's a little higher than if I just had the, the bacon by itself. But I'm not reducing protein because it's helping my skin, it's helping my hair, it's helping my nails. Um, and I, when I had my lap in in 2005, man, my hair started falling out. If you guys look at my vlog, yesterday or day before yesterday you'll see my lap dance beautiful huge hair harry's hair when we were um i think i was like 29 or 30 when he took that picture and my hair is like crazy thick so my hair i've lost a lot of hair and my hair's just now growing back and getting healthy so um i'm not gonna drop the collagen and i'm trying really hard to stay you know right at the 1200 calories um this bacon says 70 calories per slice, but this is the thickest thick bacon I've seen. So, I mean, I Googled it, it says it on the package, but I'm kind of leery of it. So I'd rather err on the low side just in case. So how is everybody doing? How are you guys doing? Anybody doing, hopping on the bacon fast experiment train with me you guys i know right now it's hard keto anyway because of all the meat shortages that are happening and the meat prices and bacon prices are going to go up so if you guys have a sam's club or um you know a costco uh card it's better to go there because even if they're limiting it you're getting twice the amount double the amount so um, thank goodness that's what we did. So I'm gonna continue with my bacon diet. I'm gonna sit here and eat this delicious bacon. This is the farmer's brand, um, thick center cut, applewood smoked, one of my faves, bacons. And enjoy my breakfast. I had a nine o'clock meeting at work. Excuse me just a second, somebody's instant messaging me. And I don't need to be on that. So I have instant messaging. If somebody needs me, they just type it in and pop up and ask me a question or whatnot. So I want to make sure that I can answer those things as part of my work. Anyway, um, 
Arizona is lifting the quarantine lockdown. My husband got to take the dog to the groomer. Everything opened, I think on the, well, not everything, but all the nail salons, pet salons, um, our vet, like you can make an appointment, you go in, you register, then you go out to your car, they call you in. My mom got chiropractic and they all have the safe distancing practices, face masks, all of those good things. So we're gradually opening. But here in Arizona, you guys, it's been in the hundreds and actually this week is supposed to be cooler. It's only supposed to be 98 today. It's cooler than it was last week at 105. But what I've read and what I see, this zombie apocalypse virus dies, doesn't like the heat as well. That's why some of the hotter climate areas of the world aren't having as bad of a difficulty, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're just being super cautious, super careful. Harry had to go um, put some money in the bank and he's doing the drive through He's got Sally and he's got his face mask with the um, filter inside of the face mask and he's doing that for me. So anyway, folks, if you guys have any more questions, please leave me a question down below. I'll try to answer it the best I can. If you guys have any comments, please leave them. Please be kind. You know, this is my journey and my husband's journey, and you absolutely do not have to watch this channel. If you find something offensive, if you find that I, you don't like the way I'm talking or the way I'm sounding, please don't watch me. There are plenty of other keto channels out there. This is how I am, trust me. I am a crazy person. I keep telling my kids, if you ever put me in an old person's home, just tell them that I'm eccentric. Tell them that's me, that's how I act all the time, okay? Dressing, that's how I dress all the time. Yes, I have crazy shoes and boots. She's not crazy, but that's how she is. So if you don't like me being crazy, don't watch. Anyway, folks, we really enjoy it. We have fun. This channel keeps me accountable. It does. It's my journey. I have family and friends and relatives all over the world. And this is a way for them to see me and my husband Harry, see Sally, see us on camera, enjoy us. And, um, you know, my kids are flying home. They're on a plane from Germany. The puppies got picked up. They're on their way. They're, my kids are on their way. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. They have to land in Chicago. I don't know where the dogs have to land because they can only fly eight hours and they have to get out for two hours and be walked, checked, and then they fly in. The dogs fly into LA and then they're getting transported here and then they go through quarantine and then my kids go through Chicago and then they come here and then they're in a quarantine. But I am so thankful that they're gonna be here. My brother and sister, uh, my sister and brother-in-law live in um, Rio, Santa Marta, Rio de Janeiro, Colombia, anyway. And they're having issues there, lockdown and all of those things, but they're safe, they're healthy. I have friends and family in California. My sister and brother-in-law live in Idaho. He's doing awesome, you guys. His double bypass and valve replacement surgery, he's sitting up. He already walked. He's doing fabulous. And they actually let my sister only visit the hospital. Ron's got kids and stuff and nobody's been able to visit him, so it's been a little bit more stressful. Stressful here. Mom had to go to her um, primary care physician to have her face looked at and get rechecked. Her face is pretty sore. Her eye is totally red. You guys saw that on our Mother's Day video and all of that blood pooling is going into her face and now she's getting yellow and black and purple and green. It was pretty deep, you know, um, blood. So she's all colors today and her eye's been bothering her. She has a little bit of... Um, cataracts on both eyes that haven't impeded her vision yet but they're there so she needs to get checked out so i've got a little bit of stress in my life too and that could be why i'm gaining uh i retained water but i know it's because i'm not drinking the water i had maybe too many pieces of bacon i know i had way too much cream yesterday so i i'm chalking that up to me today i'm gonna do better and i'm not worried about it it's just rolling off my shoulders because you can gain and lose as long as I'm doing this. That's all I care about. 
Friday's the hard weigh-in date. I'm weighing in just to keep myself accountable and letting everybody know what I'm doing. So anyway, folks, I've got to eat my cold bacon now because I'm breaking my fast. It's uh, 10 o'clock because it's 9.59 plus something. 10 o'clock, going to drink that and my coffee, and I will come back and share with everybody in the next segment. Okay, where's the plate? So what we're doing is we are going to, we're going to measure the, how many bacons I get. All right, so that is... 11.45. How many, how many ounces are you allowed? How many, how, how much supposed to be allowed to have a day? A pound and a half. Pound and a half. Okay, so that's going to be 16, 16 plus 8. 24. That's, you get 24 ounces. That's a max. That's the maximum. Here, baby. Here's your, here's your napkin. Right? Yep. So that's 11. Because this is a different brand. Here, hold that one up. Show them. It's the Kirkland brand. And he already has it marked. There, can you see it? It's 1.5 ounces a piece. Yeah, it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I figured it out today. This is all a scientific experiment in bacon, you guys. So, um, we're trying to get this measured and see. Okay, so now half as much. Right. I'll try it and see. Yeah. That's 20. It's 20. So you said I need 24, right? Yeah, uh, 16, 17, 9, 20, 20, 24. Yeah, 24. Okay. So I'll put four more. On. Oh my god, I can't eat that many bacons. Yeah, that's all Well, right. so you get two, so take take two off. Take two off. Just to see. Take two off. So how many Very slices close. is that? That's like ridiculous. I don't know. So that's, that's one, the max, two, though. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. So that's about right. Fourteen pieces. <laughs> scientifically weighed and everything else. Two of these are Harry's. The rest is mine for the day. Minus the bacon I ate this morning. See, that's the problem. I already had bacon. But how I many know, pieces did I, you have? I know how many I have. How many did you have? I gotta go look. I gotta look on the camera. Oh. I think I had three. Did I have three? I'll check. Bake. 400. Timer. 40 minutes. Yeah. Alexa said timer for 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Starting now. I'm in trouble again. <laughs> Harry scientifically did all that and then I told him, well, I already had three pieces of bacon. He was like, you what? <laughs> well, I had to eat. I was hungry. So that throws his whole thing. Well, I only had three pieces of bacon. I have it on film. So I had three pieces of bacon, so instead of 15, right? It's 15 pieces? I'll have 12 more. Maybe. That's the most. That's the max. No. I already can't. had three. I'm going to have five and five, ten. I'll have 13 pieces. I'm eating 11 more pieces today maximum. That's all I can say. But see, now here's I've the problem. I've had three. What's the problem? The other ones that you ate today, are they the really thick ones? Or yes, the they're, the, they're the farmer ones. Okay, so then that's two ounces a piece. So you had three, that's already had six ounces. Now you got to take that six ounces away from your 24, and what do you get? 18. 
18 ounces you got left to eat for the rest of the day. Okay, and how many were those ones a piece? You had six pieces of two and 10 pieces of 1.5. So let's divide it by 1.5 just so for... So add them all up. Add up all those. You had, say, 10 That's times 1.5 is what? That's 15. Okay. Right there. That's 15. 15. Okay. That's 15 ounces. So you've already, that's either you just eat those. How many would that be? 10? 10. That's what I said. You I'm said having, 11. okay, I'm having 10 more. Oh my pieces. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little bit of insanity. We gotta make this as scientifically as possible, folks. Sorry. We're making this, this is, look really hard. This it should not be this hard. Go get the ones in the 1.5 out 1.5 pounds, and you don't have to count it. You don't have to think about it. All you gotta do is grill it, eat it, fry it, bake it. Yeah, but season it or no. not season it, and eat it. Yes, that's it. I, I've finished. These big packages of bacon are a pain in the arse. Yes, three, Bob. So, I've had three. I'm having ten. I'm only having thirteen. Whatever that is, I'm eating it. Period. Whoop. Having five for lunch, five for dinner, and I'm having two more teaspoons of cream. Period. With my dinner and my collagen. Every other iced coffee I have today is going to be black coffee with a little stevia in it. So, just say, and I haven't even drank one of these yet, which I got to start. Because I was naughty and I haven't been drinking my water. So, we'll share everybody this beautiful bacon that Harry just folded and wrapped and measured and weighed and put on the rack and put in the oven for us. How did I do? Harry lost another pound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but did you have any rain? No. Did you have a bang? No. Did you have an on? No. What does that say? A red. <laughs> we may be taking the rest back to co to uh, bash us. What does that smell? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So my company's trying to figure out the best way to reopen our office gradually because Governor Doug Ducey in Arizona has raised, uh, cautiously raised um, some of the limits. Like I said, Sally got to go get her hair done. Harry, Mr. Curly Locks, needs to go get his hair cut. And um, I got to go get a pedicure. So. Now I've decided to let it go long like back in the 80s. No, Harry. No, no. Old men don't look good with long hair. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Just saying. Anyway, folks. <sighs> now that you guys saw the whole bacon rant about weighing and measuring and all that stuff, the easiest thing to do is get a 1.5... Women, get a 1.5 pound package. Cook it any way you want and eat it. And if you can't finish it, put it in the refrigerator and save it for tomorrow. Men... Get a two pound bag of bacon. Don't worry about it. Cook it, barbecue it, bake it, fry it, whatever you want to do, eat it, and move on. The no, hard did part. You tell me the hard, the, yeah. <laughs> did I tell them we're showing them? Yeah. What do you mean? That's did right. I tell them? We showed them the whole thing. Yeah, that's right. Silly boy. Anyway, the hard part is going to Costco. And getting the bacon there because it's double or triple or Sam's Club and it's like eight pounds, six pounds, three pounds, and then trying to figure it out, even though on the back it tells you how many each slice is worth, which I don't believe. Because if you look at it, some of the packages I noticed, even like the ripe bacon and the farmland bacon, some of them had more pieces than the others, but the weight was the same. Use your best judgment and then. You know, don't worry about it. That's all I can say. Take one piece of bacon out of the equation. Then at least you're right there. I don't know. We'll see. Main thing is drink your water. 
do not add additional salt. You're getting tons of salt. You're getting potassium. You may have to back off if you are taking a potassium supplement. I am not a doctor. I am not a nurse. I am not a chiropractor. I am not a nurse practitioner. I am not a um, holistic doctor or medical person in any way, shape, or form. Not. This is my experience for me on my body, what I'm doing with my bacon experiment. I do take several supplements. I take a vitamin D3 with K2 every day. I take one biotin every day. I take a zinc tablet every day. We use iodine. I even use my little iodine uh, C seasoning on my bacon, you guys. Um, and there's a very good reason for that. I was born uh, with hearing impediment. I was deaf, like 75% deaf. Uh, the treatment for that was to do surgery, and then they used radium treatments. I was two years old. Radium treatments on me so that I could hear. And the good news is I can hear perfect, have perfect hearing, have not had a problem since then. The bad news is, is radium treatments can cause thyroid cancer. So I get tested every six months, and several years ago, <laughs> I would say about 10 years ago now, I had a lump on my assist on my thyroid that was a scare had it biopsied had it checked had everything done to it sometimes you can see it i don't it's this way i think anyway it's right there in there and um so the importance of it was by benign and you can get little cysts on your thyroid easy and a lot of times they are benign which mine is but I need to be taking my iodine. And since we're not taking anything with supplemental iodine in it, I hate the taste of the drops. I have them. They taste like metallic. Ugh. I don't like them. I do like the sea seasoning though. I don't want to be chomping on those seaweed thing, seaweed sticks or kelp sticks because they're too seaweed-ish. Sea-ish. I don't like the taste. Anyway, I don't like the texture. I don't like the taste. But you know what? I used to like sushi. But not so much anymore. Anyway, yes. long story short, the sea seasoning, the dulce or dulce, which is a sea vegetable, is delicious and you get a ton of iodine in it and it really doesn't, you don't taste it. It's not a seaweed, sea taste, kelpy, anything taste and it's very good. So you guys, most of my cooking shows that I do or cooking that I do, you guys will see me put it on there. So. I do that for me. It's very important. Iodine is very important. When my mom comes over, she gets it, and Harry gets it on everything, too. So, mom just thinks it's pepper. She's so cute. Anyway, um, I'm waiting for my bacon very patiently, and I will have five pieces of bacon, and right now, I'm going to drink my water. So I'm waiting for the bacon to cook, and so far I think it's gonna cook 55 minutes. I keep checking it, I just turned the pan around because my oven, besides being electric, cooks unevenly. So, um, cause that bacon was so thick, I wanna make sure it's all cooked correctly. But I have kind of a dull headache, and I think it's because I need water. So I'm sitting here, slurping up my water, you guys. Don't forget your water, super important. You gotta drink three of those. I do, I have to drink three, Harry. So this is number one. You have to keep me accountable on my water. Yeah. Also, something else, we didn't take a walk last night. Okay. We've been walking every night and I'm trying to get, you know, at least to 8,000 minimum. To I know you don't have to exercise, Harry, but I feel better because I'm sitting here in this chair all day long, not moving. Because at the other, at my office, my the printers around the corner from where I work and the bathrooms down the hall and the kitchen is you know the the cafeteria is is down the hall down some stairs accounting's up two sets of stairs so I'm walking all day long besides I walk purposefully on top of that so I'm just sitting here stagnant and I think when you move more than anything it circulates everything through your system more I think it circulates the water I think it just your system does better when you're moving. That's just me. That's how I feel. And I feel better with that. But my hands still feel tight and I have a dull headache. And they always say if you have a headache, drink a glass of water and wait 20 minutes before you take anything for it. Because you probably are dehydrated. So, sipping on my water. 
<gasps> bacon timer's done. Gotta go. Get the bacon out. It's bacon. So this bacon cooked really fast. That was in the back. This one didn't cook so fast, so I had to turn it. So this isn't cooked quite as long, but that's fine. So these ones look pretty crispy. And now I gotta cook Harry three eggs. Ooh, look at that piece right there on the end. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's try not to touch it. Coat it with stuff. Guys, this, this stuff right there, oh, that is gold. We'll have to get to that in just a second. Cause that's bacon gold, my friends, bacon gold. But wow, these shrank really, look how little these guys mm -hmm. got. That's the one and a half. These Those ones are? are one and a half ounces. Oh, one and a half? These over here are two ounces a piece. Oh, well that makes sense. Two. Whoops. Harry, we need to buy stock and paper towels. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. There we go. Now comes the fat boys. Come on, fat boys. This one is the Kirkland brand, right? Is yeah. this the other kind? This yeah, the Kirkland. fattest ones. There we go. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's bacon. So anyway, folks, I'm going to get Harry's um, eggs in the pan. And we'll come back when he's got it, bacon and eggs. And I get more bacon. Harry, eggs are ready. What? Ooh, eggs really? are ready. I'm ready eggs to eat, man. Are ready, huh? I'm so freaking hungry ow, right now. Ow, 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 ow. Did you burn yourself no. again? No. It's just that steam is hot. Oh, look at these. These are beautiful. Look at those. Yum, 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 yum. Dillyumptious. Oh, aren't those pretty? Egg, if I do say so myself. And you get all the Kerrygold deliciousness with the butter because no, we got man. Kerrygold again. We love Kerrygold. Go so get some bacon. Let's look at the bacon, shall we? Bacon. Bacon, bacon. Who's got some bacon? Ooh, you got, look at this. You get some fat bacons. You want some of the fat ones? Yeah. Two fat ones? Yeah, if I can. Sure. Do you want the fat one in the butter? No. Yeah. In the butter? Yeah, just lay it in there, man. Okay. That's yours. Now <laughs> let me get mine. Can I have some? Yeah. How many did I say I was having? One. No. I think I'm having three pieces or four. Now is this the old or the new? This is the new, so I'm gonna try it. The so fatter I'm stuff is the newer. The fatter stuff is the oh, old. Okay, so I want I want a couple of these little guys. Little compared to the big fat guys. Yeah, they're guys. the one and a half ounces compared to the two. So how many of these do I get? I don't know. I don't even know where the hell you're at. <laughs> I'm at home. In my kitchen. No, I'm talking about in your count. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go look at my thing because I put it all into my keep Fitbit. Throwing. No, listen, I put it all in my Fitbit so I don't have to remember. Uh -huh. So I think I'm supposed to get four, but I'm putting three on my plate. And if I get four, after we did the math, <laughs> after we did the math, I put it in my Fitbit so I don't have to remember. I emptied that part of my brain so I have more room to put more stuff because my brain is so full of stuff. Well, you know, you don't have to eat them all. You can like have one for snack. I don't want to, no, you don't snack on a fast. Oh. You have three solid meals or two solid meals. So, the, so what you're telling me is it's- There's no snacking. What you're telling no me is fasts bun. suck. Yes. No, I'm just saying. Okay, here's those bacons, the big fat ones. I think I can. Okay, everybody, this is what we're having. Harry's having bacon and eggs, and I'm having bacon. Gotta eat now, you guys. Okay, you guys, I just dumped my bacon all over my lap. The pants I had on were the $9 Jones of New York pants that I bought at Costco when we went and bought all our bacon. They were the $9.97 or something. They fit beautifully. Oh, my God, they're great. So, anyway, I just sprayed and washed them, shouted them, Put them in the wash and changed my pants. So, according to my Fitbit, I get five servings. So, without trying to tilt this or anything, I've got four of the littler ones and one of the fatter ones on here. Right there. Don't you dare fall off. Don't you dare. Five. 
and I get five for dinner and I had three for breakfast. So 13 pieces is what I'm having today. So I'm gonna drink my water and let's try this because I don't think I've ever had Kirkland brand bacon. This is the thinner one's the Kirkland brand. So let's give it a taste test. Let's smell it. Now this one was hickory smoked. This was just plain hickory smoked. So let me get my chair up here. <laughs> very good it's hickory smoked it's not apple wood it's got a good flavor it smells very smoky very barbecuey and it's good i like it it's not as good as the apple wood but i'm spoiled now with apple wood so this is great and i'm gonna eat it and I'm going to finish drinking this water so I can have another water. It's half full, so I need to get that done. Oh, and I'm up 0.4 pounds today from yesterday. I had to figure that out too. So I'll share everybody that, Harry and my way in today somewhere in this vlog so you guys get to see. So. So as you can see on the 13th, which is Wednesday, I had 1,220 calories total. 101 grams of fat, fiber, carbs, sodium, and then 72 grams of protein, eight cups of water minimum. So you guys have to remember the cream doesn't calculate correctly. So I had about one or two carbs with the cream. My fat was 76% and my protein was 24%. I had three teaspoons of heavy whipping cream, three servings of the thick cut bacon, one scoop of BioTrust unflavored collagen for breakfast. For lunch, I basically had five servings of the thick cut bacon and a big tall thing of water, about 20 ounces. For dinner, I had five servings of thick cut bacon. I had another serving 20 ounces of water. And then after dinner, I had my second scoop of unflavored BioTrust collagen, two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream, and made an iced decaf coffee. And basically, that's what I had, you guys. Anyway, um, my headache went away. I drank a whole bunch of my water, so I think I'm dehydrated. So I really, and it's funny, because my rings have made a mark on my finger. I don't think you can see the mark where the ring finger, I don't, I don't think you can see the mark. And these are usually flying all over the place, you know, like the, the wedding ring will zip around to the back or, you know, the, you never know where the diamonds are going to hit on your finger because they're flying all over the place because they're really loose. Not today. Not today. See? Does it look fatter? See around the top? Not today. See? So that is water weight gain. Water retention. Anyway, folks, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy my five pieces of bacon. And Harry, is in, he inhaled his eggs and bacon. So it is 1230 and I am eating my lunch. Okay, you guys huge difference the kirkland brand bacon is not as salty the i have this one's the applewood the farmer's applewood center cut i just took a bite of it tons of salt compared to the kirkland so i need to look at the back and see what the sodium count is because kirkland total different saltiness in my mouth totally it's funny how each bacon brand, or even different cut, you know, thin versus thick versus center cut versus hickory smoke. All every bacon, excuse me, but finger looking good bacon here is different. So I just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention, and I'm gonna go read it right now and see if there's a sodium content on the labels of these, and I'll let everybody know. So I finished off one of these. And this is my second one, and it's halfway gone, and it's uh, 2 p.m. I am having a black 
iced coffee with um, six drops of the dark chocolate stevia and four drops of the English toffee stevia. So let me taste it because it doesn't have any cream in it and it doesn't have any collagen. Ooh, that tastes delish. That tastes delish. So anyway, I'm going to make sure that I drink this all gone and then another one. That will give me 60 ounces here plus any other liquids I drink minimum, you guys, because of the sodium. And it's funny because I'm halfway through this one and all of a sudden I'm running to the restroom. So that means I'm dropping that water weight. So remember along with the water whooshes that salt which gives you a whoosh. So hopefully this will help counterbalance everything. It's funny because my ring is starting to slip. It is. So it's just, see this one fell over to the side. So seriously, look. So it's just all about the water weight, you guys. It's all about the water weight. And you guys, we may have been measuring our bacon wrong. Those big packages. Um, one of mm -hmm. my new uh, subscribers, her name is Jen, said, hey, I think you're counting your bacon wrong. Those packages actually are smaller. And she told me the size and everything. And I went online to see. Um, I googled them on Costco and they were like two times two pounds. So we thought they were um, four pounds each and they're two pounds each. Anyway, um, but sometimes Costco has different stuff in a different Costco or they have um, different brands of the same, like they may have the thin cut or they may have like pepper flavored or thick cut or center cut. So I googled it to check it. So um, I thought I overate the bacon the other day and I may have been just right on point. Today on this vlog in the beginning, you will see Harry and I talked about it and we actually weighed the actual raw bacon. That way we got our count correct. Because if you look at what the package says and everything else, you know, then you're you're second guessing yourself. It's better just to 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 weigh the raw meat because it's raw meat weight that you're looking at and then go from there. So that's what we did, and that's how I came up with today's amount of bacon that I'm eating. So I just wanted to share everybody that. Drink your water. I'm going to have my coffee. I can't have coffee after like 3 or 4 o'clock or I won't be going to bed. Because I always try to start going to bed between 9.30 and 10 o'clock at night. Because I have to be in my chair ready to go at 7 a.m. So my alarm goes off really early, 5.30 in the morning. So, um, we and we always watch something in bed before we go to sleep. I kind of fall asleep after 10 minutes. So, it just gives me some background noise to go to bed too. So... Anyway, folks, I just wanted to share that little tidbit. It's best to, to weigh and measure your food. It's, it's happening. Okay, everybody, it's dinner, and Harry wants to repeat to see if he can drop another pound, have the exact same thing. So he's got his um, chips, his uh, bacon. I'm going to nuke it for a minute. I'm going to have my five pieces of cold bacon. So I'm going to count out my bacon. One, two, three, four, five. I get one more cup of coffee with my collagen and my uh, two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream. And so does Harry. And we're going to call it dinner. We'll be back when it's ready. Okay, folks, I've got my five pieces of cold bacon because that's how I like it. Harry has got his uh, bag of Quest chips, the taco flavor. Anyway, folks, I am on my second of my 20-ounce water. Harry is monitoring me. I have to drink that plus at least minimum one more. So I'm going to make a nice coffee with my collagen and I'm going to enjoy my bacon and Harry's going to enjoy his beef taco bowl and we'll share everybody with everything that happens today as far as weight loss is concerned tomorrow. So stay tuned because tomorrow is day seven.
Anyway, folks, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up. Keep your fingers crossed, you guys. Want to go down.